The smell of baking bread fills the air as Kubahiro Safi and her staff tend to their dough with loving and gentle hands. They knead and beat the dough before cutting it and rolling it out into desired shapes and then into this rudimentary wood-fired oven. Abuba. Mama Safi, as this lady is fondly known here, is a 43-year-old refugee of Congolese origin. Mimi ni mkongomani kutoka Congo. Nilikimbia vita, nilitoka kwetu 2011 na nikaingia hapa Kenya. Kama nilitoka Congo nilikuwa kama vile mtoto mwenye kuzaliwa, WF ikanichukua, ikanifunza kuikaa, ikanifunza kula, ikanifunza kutembea mpaka leo. Today however, her life has undergone a drastic change and she is now an employer of about 15 other refugees in the camp. She now runs several businesses including one that is focused on embroidery albeit with a Congolese touch. She owes her success to the Village Savings and Loans Association concept an initiative of the Lutheran World Federation. Faida nilipata nikaona pana hii pesa inakuwa nyingi kwa mkono acha niweke akiba nilinunua mashine ya kushona laki moja na 1500 ya makenya. <coughs> The Sustainable Livelihoods Sector Program under LWF has greatly contributed to the reduction of poverty in the entire Turkana West sub-county. We came up with a concept called Village uh, Savings and Loans Association. And uh, this concept uh, which we started with the host community and the camp, we've been able to see many groups form uh, associations and uh, save money. So in areas where it was previously considered that the people are poor and probably cannot save we've been able to challenge this notion fiesero concept started in the host community because that is where lwf started supporting vulnerable people with the income generating activities so it was introduced there in 2010 and it did well and groups were formed then in 2014 we thought it's something that we can introduce in the refugee camp so we were apprehensive because refugees are used to hard out so we didn't know it was going to work well but surprisingly they it, it created a lot of enthusiasm among the refugees and they we trained them and they formed groups the vsla concept is a method of collective financial development that is having an increasingly major impact in kakuma and the entire turkana west sub county Members from both the host community and the refugee camp are encouraged to pool together funds through savings which are then disbursed as small loans within a certain period of time. We identify vulnerable people who are interested in doing small businesses and we give them capital it can be either in terms of a grant or a loan and then they start small businesses in their communities which gives them income. We encourage them to form groups they save money and then they loan the money to each other. Less than a kilometer away from Mama Safi's bakery, we meet Boniface Mukasa, a refugee from Rwanda, on his way to work in the refugee camp. Boniface is one of the beneficiaries of the VSLA initiative and has put his money into a small business that sells groceries. Jennifer, akasehanza unga ogato. Hii duka ilianza mwaka wa 2014. Na AWF ilikopesha shilingi elfu tano. Wengine walikula lakini mimi nikaanza na biashara kidogo. Na nafurahi kwa sababu ni kama ilikuwa kifunguo ya biashara yangu. He is also a member of one of the VSLA groups that meet regularly in the refugee camp to discuss the progress of their business and also contribute to their savings. Tunakutana mara moja kwa mwezi. Na tujikutana tunalipa pesa ya shares kila mtu akona shares zake ujitaka mkopo wanakupatia dabo ya ile shares uko nayo kwa sanduku training on how to save money borrow manage their cash and businesses has been integral to the success of the VSLA groups Once a group is formed, members draw their own constitution based on a standard template available at LWF offices. In VSLA, the members have to make their own constitution. This constitution will help them on implementation of the scheme, whereby they elect the leaders, they elect the officials like chairperson, secretary, treasurer, two money counters and three key holders. 
These are the people who assist them on implementation of the scheme. LWF lends more support through trainings on the VSLA concept, basic business management skills, group dynamics, conflict resolution, record keeping, among others. Everything that one does in the VSLA concept, each and every member has to know what happens, what takes place. You have to know your money. You have to know how meetings have been conducted. In VSLA, the members come together and make decisions on what to do. And in VSLA, each member has a passbook. All the transactions on how you save and how you take the money has to reflect in that passbook. With all these in place, the group members are now ready to start share purchase, saving and contributing towards their kitty monthly as stipulated by their constitution. Each member buys the number of shares that they can afford and qualifies for a loan depending on the number of shares held, but there is a standard monthly contribution towards a social fund mainly used for emergencies. In VSLA concept, we have four activities. That is one, saving money, two, loaning, three, repaying, repaying the loan, and the fourth activity is social fund activity. Within the group, all the members have to contribute this money towards their kit. In this way, apart from positively impacting livelihoods by increasing levels of income, the VSLA initiative has drastically improved access to financial services to many of these vulnerable groups and has proved that both refugees and the host community can save and be able to access credit services given a chance. <laughs> Nina uwezo wa kwenda kuchukua vitu vya laki na hata nikitaka mkopo wa laki mwingine 50 ninapata. Kwa hiyo hiyo ni faida kubwa kwangu. Kama singe singe kwa kwa hiki kundi na ningepasha kushindwa kwa sababu nina kama watoto 14 na kufuatana hiki kundi na hii pesa ambayo tunachangiza ndio inanipatia motisha wa kuendelesha watoto kule. Kwa sababu chakula ambacho tunapata hapa ni chakula kimoja. Sasa kufuatana hiki hii pesa ambayo tunapata ndio inanifanya mimi ni ni wanafanya mabadiliko kwa chakula kingine. Approximately 40 kilometers away from Kakuma town in Letea Ward, we meet Loritit Women Development Group ready to start their meeting. The VSLA box is central to the initiative. Every VSLA group has one of their own where they store their ledger and passbooks as well as the leftover cash. This cash book has three padlocks and they cannot stay in one place. They have to stay in different groups or in different places within the, their community. We haven't experienced any problem that the, the cash box has been stolen because all the money that is kept there is being given out. The moment they, 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 they conduct the meeting, the moment they meet together, they save and then they loan out. <laughs> Here, most members of these women groups are illiterate. Not one of them can read or write, but they have no problem counting their cash. To keep proper records, however, every time they hold a meeting, they resort to hiring the services of William Nasopo, a teacher at a local primary school and husband to one of the group members. He guides them through the entire bookkeeping process for their shares, loans and savings. <laughs> kila wakati tukikutana nasema ulitoa hii ulitoa hii naona record ama na nikiwa kwa kartasi nasema hii ndio shares yako kila mwezi alafu wanashika ili waziwane kama wanadanganywa started in 2009 the loritit vsla group has now been able to come together to pool funds to not only grow their own individual businesses but also build a multi purpose hall that they hire out for events Elizabeth Lomokol is the chair lady of the group and has been guiding it since inception. Filo LWF alituanzisha akatupatia pesa shilingi 1200. Tukaanza kununua unga, tukapeleka kubadilisha naye mbuzi, alafu tukaleta kuuza. Tukaenda tena tukaleta tukauza. Tulikamata hii mafunzo ya LWF ndio tukafika mahali sasa hizi tuko. The Loyalty Women Development Group members in Letea are leaving testimony that the VSLA concept is an effective and dignified method of community empowerment. Tuseme hii group vile imeendelea ni mikakati ya LWF kama sio akili ya LWF 
ingevika mahali kama hapa This story is replicated 50 kilometers away to the southeast of Kakuma in the small township of Lulupe, a desolate string of shops clinging to the roadside in this harsh Turkana sunlight. Here we find Mary Ebe. She is the treasurer of the Tonyoutunga Kimak VSLA group in Lulupe and also runs a shop that sells groceries and cold beverages. Her business and journey with the VSLA started over two decades ago. Nipoletoa mafunzo na mama Helen kwa mambo ya LWF. Nimepiga step kubwa sana nikanunua gari kwa shaya zangu. VSLA ndio imenipa hii akili yote na mafunzo ya biashara jinsi unatakana kufanya for many of the women here there has been no looking back tuna matumaini ya kununua ploti kama tunaweza kujenga nyumba za rental zitusaidie zitubust across the entire Turkana West subcounty where the VSLA initiative under the livelihoods program of the LWF and its partners is active winds of change are now blowing as the rays of hope of a new way of life shine down on both the turkana as the host community and on many refugees it is a growth story that also has its challenges and one that now needs to be taken to the next level nafikiria vile tunaweza kuenda kwa equity kuchukua ile loan book tuwekeze hizi pesa kwa bank alafu siku miaka zijazo tunaweza pata mkopo ile inaweza kutusaidia BSLA itself cannot give big loans for bigger investments so the future here is um, organizing them better linking them to microfinance and also linking them to other initiatives like the county so that they can also be part of the of the growth for all those groups that have succeeded we are now forming a cooperative that is going to bring all of them together and we are going to liaise with the bank because now Kakuma has a bank to see how it can support them so that they can have uh, loans that now come for the group by group before it goes down to members and we think this can grow this concept far much bigger than it is today hey salam alaikum the lwf kakuma sub program is currently working with 54 vsla groups 31 in the host community and 23 in the refugee camp All the groups have a combined amount of about 13 million Kenya shillings as savings, members loans and in dividends. Here in Turkana West sub-county, the initiative has not only created resilience but has also reduced dependency on aid and laid a foundation for generations to come. Thanks to LWF and all its partners. We are very much uh, committed to empowering uh, the, 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 the refugees and the host community and one of the best ways of empowering them is by giving them a means of livelihood so that they can earn for themselves. We are very pleased to see the impact of refugees both in the short term becoming less dependent on aid they are and less dependent on handouts from humanitarian agencies and they can develop um their own lives um financially and in other ways but we also see a long term um sustainable impact of refugees becoming um financially literate na mungu awabariki sana iwf